Hi, I'm Jerry Mitchellack. We did a product review about a year ago on the M&P Core 9mm long slide. I've had some requests. I had one from a fellow named Matt Dan 2S6V. What a name. Anyway, he requested an update on the product and a review. What I, what I have to criticize, what's good, what's bad about it in the last year. About the only thing I can say bad about it, I wish I'd have had it two years ago. So, it's been working 100%, guys. I've had zero malfunctions with it since I built it and put it together in this package, so I'm really excited about it. I haven't lost anything with it when I've shoot my three gun competition. So, just kind of go over the product with you again to give you an idea of what it is. We're totally empty. There's no ammunition on the table. You can notice here it's quadruported. This is done by Magnaport. I've got the stock original Smith & Wesson barrel. So they pour it right through the slide, right through the barrel. So I have a comp effect here without the bulk and the uh, accessory of a, of a compensator plus it fits a standard holster. So if you have a standard holster and you want to have a gun Magnaported, it's a great way to enhance the product without any changes whatsoever. So I've got the same Vortex Razor red dot on it. It's held up 100%. I don't know how many rounds I've shot through it yet, but uh, I haven't had a malfunction with anything on it. The only thing I did to the frame, I put a little bit of skateboard tape on the front of the uh, trigger guard here. I've changed my grip technique now where I actually hold the front of the trigger guard. So that's one of the changes I made to suit myself better to the product. I've got a Speed Shooter Specialty Magwell on it, the same large Smith & Wesson textured grip panel on the rear. I did a trigger job on it using the original Smith & Wesson parts. It's probably right under 3 pounds. It's been 100% same recoil spring. So as you see it, uh, I'm taking it to the next 3-gun match. The only thing I, I've done since I built the gun, Taylor Freelance sent me some of his boots to put on a standard Smith & Wesson magazine, guys. So with this boot, spring, and standard Smith & Wesson follower, I can put 27 rounds in this magazine, so with this, I don't lose anything to the 1911 guys. Also, a shorter magazine, this is made by Taron Butler. It can hold 23 rounds with his spring, same Smith & Wesson follower. So, all you can do, guy, all you need to do is just put these boots on a standard Smith & Wesson magazine and you can go high capacity. So, it's been really a good setup. Goes, I mean, it's... Uh, but the only thing I wish I had was an extended magazine release. Other than that, uh, I can't really say I have, I have want for anything other than what I have right here.